Hey fans, these highlights are brought to you by the movie The Rivalry, showcasing the last 35 years of the greatest rivalry in college football. Well, it's the 110th meeting between the Tigers and the Gamecocks in the South Olds Rivalry live from Death Valley early in the first quarter. Taj Boyd fixes it. He's going to keep it on the option, and Clemson's up 7 and nothing. But Dylan Thompson will be the story in this game on his third down conversions. This one he hits Justice Cunningham over the middle and completes on the third and six. And the Gamecocks are rocking late in the quarter on that same drive. He ends up hitting Bruce Ellington on a back shoulder throw. And we're all tied up at seven. Taj Boyd would soon answer, though. Two plays later on a fake end around. Goes deep to Nuke Hoppins, who ends up muscling it up. And the Tigers are up 14-7. to seven. Keith are down now in the second quarter for Dylan Thompson. He's going to fake it on the read option. Keep it himself. He's going to pick up 19 yards as Xavier Brewer and Crawford and Tig Willard get sucked up in the middle there, thinking that it was going to be handed off to Miles, but it wasn't. And Dylan Thompson picks up another key third down on his legs. He would do this all game. Later on in the drive, he ends up finding Ace Sanders on the outside of the 16-yard line, and South Carolina would kick a field goal to make it 10-14. to Next drive. Boy, Todd Boyd gets knocked down there, picked off by Holman Clowney. Big time pressure leads to the interception, and that's how we did the half, 10 to 14. Now in the second half, while most of you guys are at the concession stand, Thompson looking deeper. Nick Jones finds him down and out to the Tiger 39-yard line. Dylan Thompson just dropped it in right in front of three Tiger defenders. Let's take a look at it again. Great protection by the Gamecock offensive line and Nick Jones right there on the end, right in front of Richard Hall. Now third and 16. Ace Sanders breaks Richard Hall tackle. What's new? And the Gamecocks are up 17-14. After a Clemson Tiger three and out, Kenny Miles on a 25-yard run here on third and 10. That would lead to a Gamecock field goal. The Tigers attack on a field goal as well, but now the talk of Twitter. Boom! DJ Swearinger with a big hit on Andre Ellington, but he does his best Hulk Hogan impersonation, so that's going to pick up 15 more yards. A 9-yard run by Ellington and a 15-yard penalty by Swearinger, and maybe the Tigers would finally get back into this game with a little bit of momentum. The crowd really got into it after this hit. Really get on Swearinger there, but it was not to be. Dylan Thompson... On a third and 18, throws it. Nope, it's intercepted by Brewer. So the Tigers still with life, but Boyd with the interception down to Bryson Williams, and he's going to return it back to the Tiger 50. Just look at it again. Bryson Williams, he's going to bait him a little bit with Boyd trying to get it to Adam Humphreys out of Dorman, but it's not going to happen. Williams with a key interception there, and now the Gamecocks are back with the ball. Now biggest play of the game, third and 19, late in the fourth quarter, and it is a quarterback draw by Dylan Thompson, and he picks up 20, only needed 19. He's out of bounds right there at the six-yard line. Let's look at it again. Tig Willard getting caught on a blitz, and Richard Hall out of position there. Jonathan Meeks trying to knock the ball away, but not to happen. And so now it is third down on the six-yard line. Rolling to his right. Looking back left. Thompson finds Bruce Ellington. And it is Richard Hall once again out of position. Didn't trust his teammates there. He had three guys there. And Carolina goes up 27-17. to Now late in the game. Tigers get the ball back. But Clowney puts an exclamation point on this. They were unable to block him all day. 4.5 sacks for Clowney. And it really was the story of both of those lines for Carolina. And that's going to end the game. 27-17. South Carolina wins four in a row. These highlights are brought to you by the movie Rivalry, showcasing the last 25 years of the greatest rivalry in college football.